Happy New Year's everybody, welcome to a new Just Blazer tutorial. We're gonna start with the easiest and the quickest tutorial I could ever give you for Blazer projects. So we're just gonna start with how to start a new Blazer project. So stick around, I'm gonna just switch the perspective real quick. On this tutorial, we're gonna assume that you have nothing that you need to start Blazer. That is, you need Visual Studio and you need .NET, the newest one, .NET 6. So let's just get started as if I didn't have anything. So we just look for Blazor here. And then we just go to the Microsoft.com's Blazor build Blazor client, whatever. And the first thing you wanna do is download .NET 6.0. So you will download the SDK here. You don't wanna download this thing. This is the one you want. This allows you to actually build the apps. So I don't need to do it, I already downloaded it. And so in reality, I was missing .NET 6. So I already do it, I already downloaded it, and... Ho ho, I'm gonna put this over this, uh, the part I messed up on. So here we go. So yeah, you go to Blazor. Download. Download.NET 6. And now it looks something like this. Like once you've downloaded it. And then... You install. And then once you're finished installing, you can continue on to installing the next things you need. And we're going to just move into the next thing for Blazor. And in this case, it would be downloading Visual Studio 2022. Now, I use Visual Studio 2019, so this I do not have on my computer, so I will be joining with you in this case. So I will just click that. We're going to be downloading it very quickly, and I'll be editing this portion so we just get to the fun stuff. As an addendum to while we're waiting here, I want to add that if you don't have a Visual Studio account or you don't have the license for it, just download the community. It will be enough for you to do these projects. It, they don't uh, take away too much from you when doing that, so you'll be fine. So now you reach this screen where it tells you to download whatever you want. I have already pre-packed, pre-picked what I want here, and I want ASP.NET and Web Development and .NET Desktop Development as well. I've already downloaded 6.0. So you don't have to worry about it here. You just download whatever you want. And all you need is these two just for this particular tutorial. So you install that. Um, as a side note, you could use Visual Studio 2019 if you have it. I've been using 2019 to do my Blazor stuff, but we're gonna try 2022 and see how it works together. So unfortunately, my plan was to use 2022 but for whatever reason, 2022 is not working for me and I have to figure that out. However, I do not want to deprive you of this tutorial. It's a very quick one anyway. So I'm going to use 2019. You could use either or. The steps are the exact same. So I have, uh, in order for you to check, just in case that you have uh, .NET 6.0, I would just go to your command line of choice and just write .NET minus minus version. And you see that mine is 6.0. So right there. Now let's continue. To build your first project, you go to create new project, and then you're gonna choose whether you wanna use Blazor WebAssembly or Blazor Server App. You'll find them here. If you just look for them, just put Blazor. Perfect. So the difference is that one's gonna be the client side version of Blazor and one's gonna be the server side version of Blazor. It really doesn't matter which one you start with. You could always switch up later down the line if you want to make your server app project into a client side project or vice versa. I personally choose the server app project because even though I might not have good opinions on Razor, it's what I'm used to. So I will start with Razor for this application, but you can start with whichever one you want. So we just click that and we just give this a intro project here. And yes, you would choose .NET 5. You only need anything else here and you will create. And now we wait for this to be created. And then we're going to run the project real quick to make sure that it works. So I've just opened uh, all the files basically. So I just saved you some time here. So you can see that what we have for the, uh, for what the CSS is using is bootstrap. So let's run the project real quick and you'll see what I mean. So this bootstrap does not actually have JavaScript, uh, the JavaScript logic behind it. You're going to make that yourself using Blazor. Um, 
But as you can see, just with the CSS alone, it's fantastic. Just for a very simplified product, this gives you everything you need to start any project you want to start if you're building a web application. And I didn't bother going through the client side version. It's basically the same thing. And we're not going into the uh, nitty gritty details just yet in this tutorial. This is just to show you how to start um, a new Blazor project from scratch. All you need is to download .NET 6 and download the Visual Studio uh, 2019 or 2022. Either one will work. And then just make sure that your product that you create is the Blazor project, regardless which one it is. And next time I see you, I will have another tutorial for you that will go more in depth into the various things that Blazor brings and the various functions it has. So stay tuned. This was just a quick one and happy new year's again from just Blazor.